Philadelphia is the birthplace of our nation. We got the Liberty Bell, we got Betsy Ross's house, we got everything. We got William Penn, and then we got South Philadelphia, where I was born and raised. So you could take all that good government bullshit and throw it out the window. Now you're dealing with the streets of South Philadelphia. It was probably the baddest mob town in the country during the 80s. People were getting killed day after day. They were finding bodies everywhere. Jimmy Broom's Diodorio got whacked right up here on the corner. Right over there on the left, he was coming out of the club and he got whacked. My name is Angelo Lutz. I'm a chef. Or better yet, I'm a cook. I was born and raised in South Philadelphia. And I grew up in the streets, you know? I went out, I, I worked legitimately, and I worked illegitimately. I hustled. Whatever I had to do to put a dollar in my pocket. Angelo was charged with racketeering, along with Joey Merlino and five other co-defendants. Racketeering involved bookmaking, loan sharking, extortion. Angelo got a harsher sentence than probably was warranted because he was always in the news during the trial, and I think it pissed the feds off and it pissed the judge off. I cook for everybody, from John Franzese, known as Sonny Franzese, to the lowliest guys you ever met in your life. When I got out of prison, no one wanted to help me, so I decided to open my own restaurant. And here I am today at the Kitchen Consigliere Cafe in Collinsville, New Jersey. I'm still gambling, only this time I'm gambling on myself. I got a great staff of people, but everyone has their own agenda. Let's get him out of here first, and then we'll work on this other ticket. I got Joe Squirrel, he's my host. What are you doing? Let me, let me do right. You want to be the manager, be the manager. Yeah. Yeah. I got Karen, she's my manager. Just upsell, 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 upsell. I'll take it to court, his assets will be your assets. And then I got Marty, he's my business manager. He's also known as the complaint department. And he handles all the bullshit I don't want to handle. Another Jamelli I've met people from New York, New Jersey. I've met people from all over the place. Those people who have come in, they treat me well. When I say those people, I mean mobsters. We're here at J&A Culinary School. South Philadelphia. I also have an internet cooking show which could be seen via philly.com, which I do with Marty Hall. That's called Cooking with the Kitchen Consigliere. Wow! I don't want to go back to jail. I don't want to go back to the old ways. I just feel that I could make it. Oh, this looks good. Cheers. I know I'd go from rags to riches. There's seven people handling the front of the house. Today I'm slim. It's one of those days. I opened up the joint, I answered the phone, it's Tony Darrow. Tony Darrow's been in over 30 movies, but he's most notably known as the restaurateur who's afraid to give Joe Pesci the check in Goodfellas and gets cracked over the head with a bottle. I mean, I'm hearing all kinds of fucking bad things. I'm gonna wind up a lambist. I gotta go on a fucking lamb in order to get away from this guy. He grew up on the streets of East New York. He's the real deal. Tony wants to come down for lunch. Tony Darrow was once a dish inspired by my friend Paul Corrado from Detroit, who I met while I was serving my federal sentence, or as I say, on vacation from the government. Where I come from on the East Coast, we eat cauliflower and pasta in oil and garlic in like a white sauce. But the gut crew from Detroit, they eat it in what we call a marinara. They don't use cheese, they use toasted breadcrumb, and they use pancetta. Not a problem on a normal day. However, I ain't got the ingredients in the restaurant. I got a bunch of local stops I gotta make. I gotta go down to Severino Pasta and pick up the pasta because I don't have the cut he needs here. Yo, how long I gotta wait for that pasta over here? Come on. Then after I'm done that, I gotta stop by the fruit and produce place, pick up the cauliflower. Can I get a cauliflower? I need a head of cauliflower. Thank you, okay. And I gotta go over the bridge to Maglio's and pick up the sausage because the sausage has gotta have fenoic. Thanks, Eric. All right, I'll talk to you. Now I gotta get over to the studio to meet Marnie because we gotta take some shows. Seriously? And we're gonna start cooking and I gotta put up with her ridiculous questions about my past life and everything that I don't wanna answer. How many times do you wanna ask me what it was like to be jail? For the first year, it was great because he was, he was on, he would come prepare with topics. He has a restaurant now, that became a priority. You don't know what you're doing. I know you exactly really... what I'm doing, lights out. See you later. You're an asshole, you know that? I get out of the studio and I'm rushing back because I gotta beat Tony Darrow to the restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. You know, 
I'm Tony Darrow. I called up. Tony comes in 20 minutes earlier than he should. How are you? We're gonna get the squirrel. We're gonna see Chip. Give me a few minutes. You're a little early. I'm getting everything done now. I greet him. I have the staff seat him. Now I gotta get into the kitchen. Boom, boom, boom. I got the Italian spec cut up. I gotta start dicing it up. I gotta start sauteing it. Joe, go out and amuse them a little bit. They'll be fine. The cauliflower is already sauteed. I gotta start cutting up the onion, caramelizing the onion, adding the garlic, the wine, the tomato sauce. I gotta get it all perfect. I gotta get the pasta ready to go. I mean, I gotta start toasting breadcrumb. I gotta get everything ready. This, this has gotta be perfect. This is huge. I mean, this could be the start of something really, really big. I gotta nail it. I gotta hit it. It's gotta be perfect. Hey, Joe, hey, tell Angelo uh, I'm in a hurry, okay? Okay, you guys Look are going to the as soon as he can. Or I'll come to the kitchen, I'll give him a fucking beat. Can I get a yes spoon, please? Here we go, excuse me. Thank you so much. If this guy doesn't like the food, it's a slate of Italian celebrities that may never come to my restaurant. But if he likes it, guess what? It's a home run. Your restaurant is fantastic. It's like the girls are nice. Joe is wonderful. You suck. But, <laughs> but everybody else is wonderful, you know, and I like the way you cook. Very rare that they put cauliflower in pasta Delicious, eh? with sausage. It's different. And then they put what my mother used to do, a lump of ricotta on the top of it. That only comes in a neighborhood restaurant. You know, you could do one of these like in, in uh, Atlantic City. So that would be kind of That would be really good. This guy's, he's a cute little prick. I mean, he's really sweet and, and he could cook. I, I need my money. I got wolves at the door every day here because of what happened in the past. Every day is a struggle. I don't know how I'm going to pay the bills in here, but I just do. This is this is the lot. This, this is, is going to be at. it, baby. We're going to have the French doors over here. Yeah. We're going to have seating on this side. Try to get this done, that done. Go get pasta. You want hey, sausage? This is all about deadline. You got to focus a little bit. Business was bad. Fuck you. Pay me. Not with this away from the casinos are a bad apple. I'm going through the door and I'm not going to leave until you write me my check. If he goes back to his old way of life, I will personally kick his ass. Take the fucking milk and put the chocolate syrup in it that we use for the desserts. I mean, what's the fucking difference? I mean, it's Brain chocolate dead milk. Man, they're so fucking stupid in that restaurant.